Sometimes trades just don't turn out how you planned. In fact, sometimes it seemed like the market was waiting on you to enter that trade so it could immediately go against you. Has that ever happened to you? What well, happened to me in a recent position? I want to show you how we handled it. This will help you see how you might be able to handle a similar type of situation when they happen to you. This trade I'm going to share with you is in the underlying ETF XLU. We ended up selling some naked call options against XLU because of the way the trade progressed. If you've been watching any kind of videos or reading some research on the internet, you'll know that naked call options can be very dangerous. And the reason is that they can have unlimited loss potential because theoretically, the underlying stock can go up forever. I thought this was a good one to share with you because it could be a very dangerous situation. So how do you handle a situation where you've sold some naked call options and they've gone against you? Let's dig into this XLU trade trade. Normally, utilities are a very stable sector. However, over the past year, they've experienced a lot of volatility. One of the reasons for that is a sharp rise in interest rates. Although XLU is typically stable, over the past year, it's been anything but. Notice that going back several months, over a two and a half month time frame, it declined over 20%. It then had a sharp rebound, and over the two months after that, experienced an over 21% increase in price. That's not typical for utilities, even more so for a utility ETF. But that's what happened shortly after we entered this position in XLU. He said on July 11th, we first sold some put options in XLU. That date corresponded to right here on the charts. Overall, XLU had come down and found support around the $64 area, then had an increase in price, and then came down again and found support again, went up in price, and found support a third time. So because of that, I felt comfortable selling some put options in XLU. And indeed, the trade did go our way. For the next several weeks, XLU went up in price to around that $69 per share. Then it came back down in price, and it did hold for several weeks. But after another increase in price, it experienced a sharp decline, all the way down to around $55 per share. At that point, our position was in trouble. But backing up just a little bit, notice the things that we did. Now, initially in July, when we sold those options, we sold the $64 and $67 put options. When we rolled those options out on August 8th, we we're able to roll them down to the $64 strike price. And we did have to increase our position size a little bit, but I was happy to get them rolled down. We also bought ourselves some protection at the $55 strike price just to get the bottom were to fall out. Fast forward to August 31st, we rolled those September $64 put options out and down to October and got them down by $1 per share. So we were able to improve our strike price by about a dollar and still walk with a very small credit. Fast forward about a month later in October 2nd, we rolled those October $63 cash care put options. We rolled them all the way out to January, was able to get the strike price down to 62, but partly because we sold some naked call options against it. You see in the line just above there, we sold the shorter term November $57 call options against XLU. Now keep in mind what had just happened. XLU just experienced a very sharp decline. Over a time frame of less than four weeks, the stock had declined over 16%. Down here in the volume, we see sellers were very excited. So we believe that selling these call options was a fairly safe bet. The stock was showing tremendous weakness. However, just a few days later, it experienced a very sharp decline and went up by almost 10%. As a result, those $57 naked call options we sold were actually in the money. Now we had bought ourselves some protection in case something wild were to happen. We had bought the $65 strike price call options and they did help us out. Notice we paid eight cents per share for them and after XLU sharp run up, we ended up selling them for a dollar per share. But still we had taken a big hit and we were in risk on those $57 naked call options that we had sold. And here in yellow, you see the two short call options that we had sold. Remember initially on October 2nd, we sold the November $57 call options. Fast forward to November 8th, we rolled those $57 call options out to January and up by $2 to the $59 strike price. However, notice where XLU was trading at. On November 8th, it was trading for around $61 per share. So those $59 call options that we had sold were in the money. With XLU having made higher lows and higher highs, I knew I needed to do something with this position to protect myself in case it kept going way up in price, which as you see here, it eventually did. It went up all the way to $67 per share. So just to recap, I had sold some put options. XLU went against us in a big way. To help prepare the position, I then sold some call options. I did a bearish call credit spread. The problem was almost immediately, XLU snapped back and the short call options also were in the money. The stock then began to go up really fast, so I realized I need to do something to protect myself in the event that it kept going up. So what could I do? Yes, I had bought a protective call option. That really wouldn't help me very much if the stock went up but stayed below that call option, and that would produce a very large loss for me. So here's the trick I did. And keep this in mind in case you ever sell some naked call options against a position, and then it begins to get threatened. On December 18th, I knew I just wanted to be done with this position. It hadn't gone my way to begin with. So I just want to get out and have a small profit if at all possible. On December 18th, I outright bought the stock. Because I had sold 
six contracts of the naked call options, I bought 600 shares worth of XLU. If XLU was caught away from us as a result of the $63 call options we sold, we'd be able to walk away with a very small profit. And that's exactly what happened on March 15th. The $63 cover call options were assigned and we were able to be out of this position. Overall, we ended up with a profit of $411. And I was happy with that because honestly, this position went against us from the get-go. And not in a small way, it went against us in a big way. So a couple of lessons you can learn from this trade here. If you're gonna sell naked call options, please make sure you have a game plan of what you're gonna do if the position goes against you. Selling naked call options is frowned on by even the most experienced option traders. But if you decide to do it, just know what you're gonna do if it goes against you. Here you see we had a game plan. I knew that worst case scenario, when I sold those naked call options, if I had to, I had the cash available to buy the underlying stock, which enabled me to exit the position for an overall profit. It's one of those tricks we have in our tool bag that I don't like to use very often, and I don't. In fact, I only use it every couple of years, but if I need it, it's there for me. But if I didn't have the cash available to buy the stock, I could have been in a bad spot. Now the alternative, if I didn't have the cash available to buy the stock, or say I didn't want to buy the stock, I could have bought a deep in the money call option that had the same expiration as the short call options I'd sold. For example, let's just play what if here. Let's say what if I had sold a naked call option that expires on August 16th of this year. That option expires right at 110 days. Let's say that those naked call options began to go against me. Well, what could I do if I didn't want to buy the stock? With the stock trading for around $66 per share as you see here in the top right, I could look to possibly buy the $50 call option Option that has that same expiration date, August 16th. You see the delta of that option is right at 0.974. So for every dollar that XLU goes up in price, the value of this option should go up by about 97 cents per share. That's pretty close to penny for penny. That's what you could do if you didn't want to buy the stock like I did. Having a game plan is very important in all of your option trades, but especially in riskier ones, like when you sell naked call options. Again, I don't promote you selling naked call options. If you do it, please thoroughly understand the risk you're taking and have a game plan in mind if the position goes against you. If you'd like to get an alert whenever we buy stock or sell options, check out the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. Knowing how to repair positions that have gone against you is vital if you're going to be a successful long-term option trader. To see more of the tips and tricks I use to repair option positions that go against me, check out the video series at the link above in the description below entitled Option Repair Strategies. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.